Hello, ladies. This is Angela Holt. Uh, please excuse me. Uh, my throat is uh, very sore and stuff, and it's because of allergy drainage and all the fun stuff that is, comes along this time of the year. I wanted to show you how to make this. Um, there are many uh, renditions of this type of concept and uh, what inspired me to try to make my own is that I have found a uh, with the Hobby Lobby and found a ornament that was a mini dress form and um, I wasn't going to pay $4.99 for it when I knew I could make it myself so I'm going to show you how to make this it's really cute I think and you could do a lot with it so let's get started first things first you need to choose your paper that you're going to use and I used this one on the other dress and I want to pick out a different style paper now the paper pack I'm using here it is one that I found at Hobby Lobby and um, it is called Keller Cuts Company, a Keller Cuts Company, and it's 180 page, pages, and I got it for $10 because they had them half off. So I'm going to go through here. This one's really pretty, a really fall floral pattern. I think that would be gorgeous to work with. Okay, first thing I done was is I half the paper. Okay. This paper is rather thin, so um, you can really crease it with your fingernail or bone folder very easy. And I'm just going to tear it like this. Okay. Now you're going to want to get your scoreboard. I'm using my Martha Stewart special here. Okay. And you're going to get a scoring tool and I am just going to use um, my number one scoring tool, which is the back of a butter knife because I don't know where my scoring tool is at the moment. So, and I don't feel like looking for it. All right. So I'm just going to run this down with my butter knife. See, you don't have to have all them fancy tools. You can use whatever you want to do the job. We're going to score this in half inch increment like so. Okay. And you're going to want to score it all the way down. So you're going to start the half inch and go all the way across like I'm doing here. We're going to keep going down. Okay. We're almost done here. Okay. Again, this is a 12 by 6 piece of paper, and you're going to be scoring it in half inch increments, like that, okay? Alright. Um, now, you're going to go through, and you're going to fold, fan fold the, um, just to get the crease, okay? That's what we're gonna do, just to get the crease. We're not gonna keep it in a fan fold, you know, a tight fan fold, because we want our dress to be flat, okay? We're just gonna fold and 
Just keep going like this, and you can just yeah, like that. I got off on that one. Just do it like that. Nothing can you see. All right. Now we got our creases the way we want them. Okay. Now you're going to open it and kind of flatten it out a little bit like that. Now, you're going to want to create the waist. Now, on mine, I measured the waist to be, let me, oh, uh, my ruler. Oh, here, I really measure it right here. The waist is one and a half inches wide. Okay, so we've got to do that up here. And you'll see why I didn't, um, why I cre didn't crease it or do anything. So you're going to want to press. You're going to want to press. And just get your fold and press like this. You're going to create the skirt by pressing them down. Like that. There we go. Here's another one. This takes a little bit of um, finessing to get, so you'll want to just kind of work with it a little bit. Bring this over. We're not going to use the whole six inches, as you can see. And actually, once you get this skirt done, you can get two skirts out of one piece. Okay. Okay. going to fold. Again, like that. Gonna fold again, like that. Gonna fold again, like that. And we're gonna keep doing this until you get to the end. Just like that. Okay. Now the creases are there and they're flat. Okay. Now you're going to take your hot glue gun and you're going to glue in between the uh, flat to hold it down. Like that. Alright, then get your scissors and just snip off the end there to make it flush. And if you still have any little pieces that need to be glued down, now's the time you can do it. Just like that. Okay? Make sure you cut it off even like that. All right, now we have our skirt. So now we need to create the bodice, okay? And the bodice can be made out of the same piece of paper. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you a trick. I'm gonna fold a piece of paper like this. Okay, you're going to get you a pen or a pencil or something you can write with. Like 
Take it out. All right. There we go. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to draw your body. Okay. Now, what I want to do, this is what I do. I, on the crease, I'm going to draw half the bodice. So, you're going to Let's see, now you're going to start off right here, then you're going to go up. Now, you're going to make your bodice straps a lot longer than uh, you normally would because you're going to see why in a moment, okay? You're going to go down like that. Let me make sure you're seeing this. Yeah, you're seeing it. Okay, then you're going to make another branch off like that and then you're going to start curving in and then curve outward like that okay and then draw a line there now you have half your bodice okay now you're going to cut right on those lines like this Remember, do not cut the folded piece like that. And then when you open it up, you have your bodice like that. See? And if you see that the um, ink bled through, now is the time to, um, you're going to want to ink it or make uh, adjustments. But we can fix that. We'll make this one a little bit skinnier. There we go. See, isn't that cute? Have an adorable body. Okay, so, yeah, people don't think I can draw, so um, I have to put that out there. And people that are close to me know why. <laughs> I've drawn lots and lots of patterns and stuff myself, and I'm just, you know, I never could afford to um, purchase all the dyes and stuff, so I learned how to draw. <coughs> okay, excuse me, let me get something to drink. Okay. Now what you're going to do, you want to um, secure the bodice. You want to make it a little bit sturdier than what it is. Okay, so you're just going to get a little piece of chipboard, like so. okay, and then you're going to get you some uh, glue. I love, love, love Scotch's quick dry adhesive. It is an awesome liquid glue. Now, when you glue your bodice, don't glue the straps completely on there. You want to go only halfway up, okay, and leave the other half alone. And then you're only going to, you know, when you lay it down like that, you're going to leave these flat and you're going to see why in a moment, okay? All right, now what you're going to do is you're going to cut out. The bodice. This is basil, um, really, really strong um, chipboard. If you are into making uh, three-dimensional items like miniatures, shadow boxes, albums, or whatever, this is the paper you need to purchase. It is heavyweight, and it will. It it's the bomb. I'm going to be ordering me some more because I am O-U-T out. I'm using scraps at the moment. I keep all my scraps for little things like this. Okay, so there's the bodice again. And what I want to do is I'm going to ink the edges. Okay. 
you want to go ahead and ink the edges on the straps as well and in the neckline. Okay. And you can go ahead and ink the sides very well. Okay. All right. Now, now you're going to glue and you're going to make sure this is as even as you can get it. And if you have to re glue, re glue. You want that waistline even as much as you can, okay? Okay. All right. Now, you can put the bodice just like that. You're going to put the skirt underneath the bodice. Okay. Just like that. With the with it being on cardstock, you can actually kind of bend it a little bit on the edges to give it more of a curvature like that. Okay. Now you're really going to cut this down, okay? And I'm going to measure how far the bodice was cut. Let's see, I cut it pretty short, uh, about two and a half inches. So I'm just going to do this, and you're going to go along the curvature of the dress like that. I might even go a little bit shorter. Like this. That's cute already, isn't it? Darling. Now, you're going to go back to your ink, and you're going to ink the edges. Like this. And then you can come across like that. Kind of give the dress some finesse. Super cute. Okay. Now, now I'm going to show you what we're going to do with these two flaps here. Okay. You're going to get you some really uh, awesome uh, jewelry wire. It's 16 gauge. Um, it's very, it's aluminum and it's very, very easy to bend. And this happens to be a copper color. It's very lightweight. And we're going to make a hanger. Okay. These would be cute to put on cards, on your Christmas tree this year, or whatever you're wanting to do. Okay. We're going to snip off, I'll measure that. We're going to snip off a piece at about 11 and a half inches. Okay. You're going to get it straightened out as much as you can, and you're going to get some pliers. Kind of help straighten out the little imperfections in it, like that. Now. You're going to take, you're going to go halfway up into the piece and you're going to bend. You're going to go over about two inches and you're going to bend upward as well like that. So that's what you're going to get. Okay. Now, straighten it up. Make sure you get them even. This is very easy wire to work with. You can actually bend it with your hands. Okay, you're going to make a triangle like that, like this. Okay, then now what you're going to do is you're going to twist. Twist, twist, twist. 
Okay. Like that. You want to get your other pliers and snip this off. Then you're going to take the pair of pliers and you're going to create the hook. Okay. And all right. My hook is not perfect, but you know what? That's what it's all about. Making it my own. Okay, so there's a cute little hanger. I gave enough neck to where if I use it on the Christmas tree, it will hold. Okay? Now, what you're going to do is you're going to take it and you're going to glue the bars. And roll of thumb, you see the two points here? You're going to want to lay the bottom half along those two points, okay? And then you're just going to put a little bit of hot glue and a little bit of hot glue. And then you're going to lay it down like that, okay? All right. Now, you're going to take those flaps that I was telling you about and you're going to put some hot glue and you're going to bend it over like that and you're going to bend it over like that so now it looks like it's hung on the hanger See? super cute there we go now the next step we're going to do is we're going to put tool under the body, under the skirt. And you're going to get out a piece at about 17 inches. Okay. You're going to get out some needle and thread. Now this is the way I do it. You can hand gather it, but if you are, if you have needle and thread, um, you'll want to use needle and thread, okay? All right. The longest part about using needle and thread is um, threading the needle, actually. Okay. Hang on. Hang in there with me. Okay. Now you're going to fold. I'm going to set this aside. You're going to fold your tool in half, and I'm using a cream colored tool. Okay. You're going to fold your tool in half, and you're going to do a lock and stitch at one end like this okay and then you're going to do a running stitch all the way down leaving about a fourth of an inch from the top so you're going to go down a fourth of an inch and then start your running stitch okay and you're going to go all the way down like so. Your stitches do not have to be perfect. Basically what you're doing is you're gathering the tool. Okay? You gluing it will not work. Stitches to go. 
Okay. So you're going to pull it taut and you're going to do a couple of locking stitches like you did at the beginning. Like that. All right. Snip that off. Now, you have two raw edges and what I do with tool is I take my finger and I fold them in to themselves like this, like you would a saw, okay? You're going to fold the edges in, okay, so that they're not raw, that they look finished, okay? And this was a 17 inch piece, fold it in half, come down from the top at a fourth of an inch and we'll do a running stitch. Now you're going to clean off the end like that so that it's flush like that. And now what you're going to do is you're going to go halfway down the skirt and you're going to run a bead of glue and be careful with this process because the hot glue will go through the tool. Okay? You're going to spread it out like this. And press. And you're on the sides here. You're going to do it down the side like this. Do the same thing over here. There you go. All right. See? And now would be a good time. Now I'm going to try this. I'm going to take a few pearls and because we left that little opening, I'm going to put a few inside. I'm going to take a little bit of hot glue on this side, just a little bit, just barely kiss the tool like that. Okay, like that. And then you can trap pearl in there if I can get them in there. Now open. There we go. I'm going to trap some pearl in there. They're like sticking to me. It's like I got static. Electricity. Okay, here we go. So a few more. Alright. And then you're going to work the pearls all the way across so that you have them evenly distributed. You know, have a pearl over here, have a pearl over there. Just work them in there like that. There we go. That's cute. See? All right. Then to again, you're just gonna barely touch the edge of that tool and close it like that. Okay. And I am going to re-glue this part. There we go. And I'm gonna 
glue this down. Sometimes you have to go back and re-glue a little bit. But see, now you have little pearls in the dress part. Okay, now we want to dress this part up. And I'm going to use a smidgen of this. This is a trim that's going to be in next month's Shabby Chic Kit. And it's perfect for these types of applications. And we're just going to put some hot glue along the base here. Kind of curve it a little bit like that. you have there. See? Isn't that pretty? And then you can take some pearl and you can start up here at the top and go along the V. There you go. Then you're going to go up There we go, made a little necklace. And then you can get your beautiful flower. That would be pretty. And then glue it on there like this. I put it on the side like so. I wonder why that stamen in there is flat. Okay. There we go. Okay. And there you go. You have a beautiful little mini dress form. And these are super cute. And ready to go on a page, a card, or something that you can create and use. See? And you can make them any way you want. So. I hope this inspires you to make your own dress forms and have fun ladies. Thank you.